Hi, welcome to the Home Engineers um, YouTube channel. Today what I'm going to be talking to you about is how I clock up a round piece of bar in a indexing head, dividing head, and this thing can also be used in a, in a vice as well, even for square stock um, when you're trying to find the centre of any workpiece. All it relies on is the dial, and in this case because we haven't got a fixed jaw or a loose jaw, I'm going to place an angle plate this side. Angle plate. Put your angle plate this side. Like so. I'm going to place a clamp across the job. Okay. Now, first thing I should have said is the actual dividing head or the indexing head in this case has been fitted with dogs, which are these hexagon pieces in the bottom, which then fit into the T-slot, which then aligns the um, job true to the axes. In this case, it would be the X-axis. Okay, so now what we do is we're gonna bring the clock down, spin it round, but it's got to be above the job because if you look at that, that's gonna, if I was to wind that round, that would break the needle off that side and I'm not touching anywhere near that side. Now that was just lined up by a visual eye. So if I just move it now, what I consider to be half the error, wind it round to the opposite side. So it's still, it's almost touching that side and more of a gap that side. So go half the error again. So that's roughly where I want it there and there. So what that now means is I can now bring the clock on. So it's, it's touching there touching there so I can lower the clock now down on the quill so it's down inside the job we can then wind it round just to see what the clock is reading it's gone right round almost to zero right we've probably got too much on that clock there too much right there we go so right so that's just touching there I would then zero this side of the clock so that is now on zero and just rock it just to make sure that is the highest point not quite there we go so that's the highest point there as I rock the clock backwards and forwards then when we go around to the opposite side that will tell me the error of how far out I am. Well, it's not even registering that. So, what I can then do is move it over what I consider to be half the error. So, still not registering there. Still registering just there. So, I bring the clock out just a fraction more. So, we touch it onto there. So, that's now reading approximately zero again. Go round to the opposite side. And now that is now reading plus uh, 20, 22. So that means now from naught to there, I've got to move it about 11 thou. So if I come back to the side that I can actually see the easiest to there. Wind the actual handle now of the machine to position the table. Go back roughly 11 thou, which is approximately there. Zero the clock at that position. And then wind it just to check it's on zero, which it is. Go around to the opposite side. It's about thou out, so we just we will just check that this side. So that now is hopefully 
So you know there, if I've gone the right way, which I hope I have, that should be. Which I haven't, I've gone the wrong way. So okay, so we come back. So that's zero there. Coming around to the opposite side. That's zero there now. Okay. So there you have it. Now that spindle is exactly over the centre line of that round piece of bar. So I hope you've enjoyed um, this video. Um, have a go, it is a really accurate way of lining up um, your dividing head and like I say, even in the three-jaw chuck. And if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.